Hello and welcome to Sound Librarian. I'm Stefan Schutz. The original Fable is what we're going to look at today. And for me, the original was and is still the best out of the Fable series. To be perfectly honest, I really didn't enjoy the sequels to Fable and the further on in the series it got, for me, the worse it's got. The original Fable had many things going for it that I really, really enjoyed and some aspects of the audio that are really worth discussing. So we can have a look and a listen and a talk about Fable. So there's a specific reason why I've allowed this first piece of music to play for quite so long. And that is because I want to start by talking about this introductory theme. This introductory main theme has been written by the well-known Hollywood composer Danny Elfman. However, the rest of the music was written by somebody else. So the music for the remainder of the game is written by somebody called Russell Shaw. Now, I suspect that uh, hardly anybody viewing this video has even heard of Russell Shaw. However, many people are probably aware of Danny Elfman. And this, to me, in some ways, is part, part of the issue. I don't believe that Danny Elfman's music adds enough to this game title to be worth what they more than likely spent on it. I'm not in any way saying that this piece of music is not a good piece of music. In fact, it's a very, very good piece of music. However, there are games that have been produced and are still being produced all over the world that are being scored by game composers. Game composers that are doing a very, very good job of it. So to me, the decision to get Danny Elfman to write the score for the opening of this particular game title doesn't feel to me as though it was a choice made to establish a strong theme for the game and to have a bold opening to the game. It seemed more like we want Danny Elfman for the sake of having Danny Elfman. It felt far more like a, a political or marketing or ego choice than that they really wanted some specific goal to be achieved creatively. One of the other reasons why I will say that is because whilst I think the opening theme music is really very good, I actually think the music within the game is better. The other thing that gives me this feeling is that the reason why many media products have an opening theme music is to show off the opening credits. We have the theme song for the particular movie that plays through the theme song and it goes through the opening credits of the movie. Yet for this game, 
And we sit through over three minutes of music, three minutes of this Danny Elfman theme with pretty backgrounds that don't really even go much in the way of establishing what's going on. They're not telling the story. There's no visuals here that are telling us the story. There's a lot of imagery and style over substance. So it, it reinforces for me that they paid the price for this theme and it was like, well, we've paid so much for it, we're going to make everybody sit down and watch it. And so I feel quite strongly that this is something that has not been done for the right reasons. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again. So, as we get through this opening introductory section and into the game, we are presented with a beautiful artistic style for this game. The art style in this game I really, really enjoy. But we also have a really, really nicely placed narrative. Now, the narrative for Fable is something that I really quite enjoy. And here there are a couple of aspects about it. I think the selection of voice actor is very, very good. But also, at the time when I played Fable, it stood out. It was quite significant. Most of the games that were coming out at this era had American accents in them. Fable, being produced by a UK company, had English accents through most of the game. And again, I'm not putting a judgment value on whether American accents or English accents are better, but it was a really nice difference. So Fable starts out telling the story of your character, and you start out as the young boy. And there's a particular stylized look to it, um, somewhat cartoony, but the soft palette I really, really like. But it also has the stylized aspects to the dialogue and dialogue is really one of the uh, important things that I think Fable did that are significant you've got a lot of recorded dialogue in this game but it's more the style of dialogue in this Fable deals with dialogue very nicely the characters are all quite quirky but more than that they refer to you they talk to you they talk to your character many games have very sort of generic dialogue or many games of this era, I should say. Um, dialogue has, is one thing that has improved dramatically in the current generation of games. But when this game came out, many games had characters had very sort of generic dialogue that didn't really... It could be sort of said to anybody, any stranger in a crowd. Whereas Fable, they had a system where they would refer to you based on your reputation, your actions, whether you were good or whether you were evil. Uh, as your reputation increased, people would uh, people would notice you and comment as you went past. Have a pleasant visit, sir. You could even buy reputational labels. So the first time you actually achieve anything and you go out into the world, um, you're referred to at the, the lowest level that they can refer to you at, and that's Chicken Chaser. And that in itself adds a really nice level of humour that you wander past and people are like, oh, there goes Chicken Chaser. And that was great. And as you went up in reputation, your reputation would change and the way they referred to you would change. They would have more respect for you as you improved and became somebody worthy of that respect. As you became either heroic or evil, they would also react either by cheering you and clapping, or they would be fearful from you and they would shy away. And all of this came through in the dialogue. So this is something that Fable did that was really, really very clever at the time. I actually think the musical score 
in many games is an important part of the success or failure of presenting the world in which you're in. The general pleasant kind of musical themes you get while exploring the villages. The more ambient pieces of music you get while you're exploring the wilderness areas. They've nailed it so well in this game that they add to the atmosphere quite significantly. <laughs> One of the things I like about the sound design within Fable is that it does quite a good job of providing user feedback. There are plenty of sounds within the gameplay that provide you with not just information, but in a lot of cases, critical information. Put that weapon away. The weapon, get rid of it. Oh, yes. When you're within a fight or something, quite often it, the first thing that I notice that an enemy is blocking my attacks is the high-pitched ringing sound of a deflected blow. When you're in uh, combat and you're building up your combat multiplier by successfully hitting characters over and over again, and quite often the indication that you've failed is a sound effect that's associated to taking that hit. So the sound design does a very, very good job of two things. It complements the world, it complements the action, but more importantly, it provides useful information for the player. Now that's generally what sound is supposed to do, but in some games, it does it more successfully than others. And in Fable, I think it does it very successfully. Take my advice, stay away from the tavern. Daylight robbery, those prices. All right, children, let's see who has learned the most in their training. So what I like about what Fable did is that Fable thought about how people interact and introduced some of these elements into games. And now we're seeing a lot more of that happen in games. And I think this is an excellent thing. Stories are far more engaging if you feel some level of understanding of the characters and some sort of relationship with the characters. And Fable is one of the games that started this sort of concept of having characters that will respond to you, characters that will talk to you in far more than just generic terms. That's all wrong, Whisper. You need to practice more. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. We have few enough heroes as it is without the two of you tearing each other apart in training. So as you can see, not everything in every analysis that I'm going to talk about is going to be purely positive. There are some aspects to game production and the way the audio is approached that I will be critical of. And I think the decision in Fable for the opening music was made for the wrong reasons, let's say. Other than that, it was a game that I really enjoyed and a game that I thought had really, really good audio. So... It's a fun game, the best in the series in my opinion, and well worth checking out. Thanks very much for watching.